All right, so first summary here, we're looking at a growth pattern. So at the beginning, there's one dot. After one minute, four more dots grow. And then after two minutes, we see the five dots here and then four more dots grow. So describe the pattern that you see. How are the dots growing? So I'm just gonna put add four dots. Now, what I'm gonna do is make a table like they said, and I'm just gonna put that up here. And I'm gonna write down the term. Now, if this is after one minute, put one minute here. This is at the beginning. This is gonna be, I'm gonna put at zero minutes and then two minutes. And I'm gonna have this count the dots. So we started with one, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we have uh, nine. And then if we look, how many dots are there after three minutes? So a couple things that I could do, I could draw that and just put my four dots there and count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, another way that I could do that is look for the rate of change in the table. So to go from one to five, I added four. From five to nine, I add four. And then I add four. So every minute, I add four dots. So how many are there after three minutes? We said 13 dots. Okay, how many are there after 100 minutes? Well, obviously that became harder, and I'm gonna need some sort of pattern to be able to figure this out. So I notice if I'm adding four every time, this is gonna become like a linear equation. So if I look at this table, if I'm adding four, that's my rate of change. So I know in a general linear equation, it's y equals, we had, and I'm gonna write b plus mx. Now this is gonna be a, our start or our y-intercept at time zero. So we have y equals one plus, well our rate of change, I'm growing by four, and then I'm gonna call that n for the number of minutes. So this answered that question, y equals four, um, one plus four n. Then I'm gonna use that expression to answer this question. So y equals one plus four times 100 minutes. Then four times 100 is 100, or 400. So I have one plus 400. So that's gonna give me 401 dots.